Well, let me speak out as possible. I'm Miguez, my name is Taff316, and welcome back to another reaction video. And welcome to my reaction to Harry Hill's Christmas TV Burp. So, this is the first of two we'll be doing in Never Tomorrow. Uh, this one is from 2006. Oh, that Christmas by the intro, too. No, sort of like that. Good evening and welcome to my Christmas TV burp. Exploding bra on heartbeat. Wow, Oscar can be a bit... Whoa! <laughs> Surprise for pregnant lady on Holby. One of the nurses said you had a puppy. <laughs> Robbie Williams reacts to Take That's chart-topping album. <laughs> And having unwrapped his prezzies, EastEnders Billy Mitchell swears he'll never go back to Ikea. <laughs> it was supposed to be a CD rack! <laughs> ah, Christmas, and it seems that a number of our favourite soap stars had rather too many sprouts. <laughs> In Holby General, someone had a bad reaction to a rather loud Christmas jumper. All you need is some hot milk and a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a busy time in the hospitals at Christmas, but what that the doesn't hell? mean there isn't time to do all those essential Christmassy things, like get the giblets out of the turkey. Oh. Now get the stuff in. <laughs> There are a number of celebrity guest appearances on the wards this Christmas. First up, Anthony Worrell Thompson dropped by. Hey, it's fine. And would you believe it? Who should pop in but Dennis Rodman? Here we go. <laughs> and finally, on casualty, Mr. Spock. And I'll get some stationery. And the police. <laughs> he let himself go a bit. <laughs> but Christmas is a time for the gift of soap. And I don't know about you, but every year I settle down for a well-earned shot of Christmas cheer. Here's to Christmas. Let's hope it's a blinder. It's going to be good in this year, love. I can just feel it. Dear. So we're going to have a lovely Christmas. All thanks to you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Oh, great. I need cheering up. <laughs> I can't wait. Christmas starts here. Cheers. Oh. Went for an abortion. Oh. 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 I'm glad no witch is dead. <laughs> Santa's dead! <laughs> I've been tricked! I've been tricked again. The terrible oh, Christmas. They're so clever, the soap writers. You just never know which way the plot's going to take you. Take Emmerdale, where Tom King had every reason to believe he had a long and happy life ahead of him. You do realise that at this precise moment, Dad's worth more to us dead than he is alive. If you had died instead of more, we'd be a lot happier. You will pay for breaking my heart, Tom King. If I were to go now, I'd die a happy man. Hmm, where could this be leading them? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, you clever writers on Emmerdale. Yeah, I totally I didn't telegraph that. I never thought of Tom King being murdered, even though everyone had it in for him. <laughs> but it wouldn't be Christmas without a wedding, though, would it? Although, of course, in real life, no one gets married at Christmas because it's Christmas. <laughs> True. <laughs> Tom King really pushed the boat out. But a little tip, put the red carpet down before you erect the marquee. This is turning into quite a production number. Yes, well, I'm not married. You're going to have to move it a foot nearer the road. <laughs> Sing along at Christmas. Whoa. We're walking in the air. Oh, walking in the air, my favourite. We're floating in the moonlit sky. Yeah, all right, sweetheart, yeah. People far below are sleeping as we fly. She stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, she started up again. <laughs> oh, 
Yeet. Had to be done, I'm afraid. Yeah. Have you ever noticed how a whale being lifted out of the Thames by a crane tends to look like Hercule Poirot? Gracefully, again. You are wondering why I have brought you all together on this cold night. Uh, there has been a murder. <laughs> this was the whale that swam to London on Channel 4, which told the story of the attempts to rescue the London whale. We were introduced to a number of whale experts along the way. I'm me, I'm here, I'm a humpback, I'm big, I'm sexy. Where are the girls? <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Just concentrate on the job in hand, eh? Yeah. <laughs> that poor whale, she'd swam a long way and was naturally very hungry. What do you eat if you can't get hold of your natural diet of squid? In a desperate search for food and water, it had some plastic, plastic, marine algae, algae, and a potato. <laughs> and a potato, of course. <laughs> yes. It's like ready, steady, cook. <laughs> Bad girls signed off this Christmas with their last episode ever, telling, as it does, the story of a women's prison. Now, I'm sure you're aware that the UK's prisons are overcrowded, drugs are rife, and the inmates are under the constant threat of violence. Facts that Bad Girls on ITV1 has never flinched from showing. And the Christmas special was the usual slice of gritty realism. <laughs> Frightening, isn't it? And the language. All right, time's up. Oh, come on, Mrs. Ollenby. We haven't had our fail yet. Think yourselves lucky you've had that. I'm short-staffed. So jingle bells out of it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Holly and the Ivy off. Yeah. Go away in a manger. <laughs> the big drama was Janine giving birth in her cell, but she was unable to get help despite ringing the alarm. Oh! Tina, press the alarm. Oh! I'm having any more of your fun and games. You've got another thing coming. Hmm, an interesting Brittle. sound, that. You're probably wondering how that alarm works. Well, I've got it here. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, inside this uh, are two mice. Oh. When I press the button, hey it sends an electric shock into one of the mice. <laughs> and the other mouse tries to resuscitate him. <laughs> Neat little system, that. <laughs> Which brings me to our Christmas TV highlight of the week. This from Coronation Street. Oh, no. Christmas TV highlight of the week. Christmas what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like at Christmas? A nice satsuma. Christmas isn't Christmas for me without my satsumas. <gasps> oh. oh, I don't understand it. Uh, they were in a special Satsuma bag. A bag that, whilst holding the Satsumas, allows the Satsumas to breathe. I wonder where my Satsuma bag has got to. Yeah. Hey, that's my Satsuma bag. Get your own Satsuma bag. Yeah, what the hell? Where would you get Satsumas from if you lived on Coronation Street? Perhaps I could make you a pudding to order. No, no, it's no good unless I make it myself. Otherwise, I might as well buy it from Freshco's. Fresh goes, yes. Get or it. the faux up. Or, if you're feeling really flush, frogs and fences. <laughs> Blanche wasn't happy. We've been parked with the pensioners. Old folks' Christmas dinner. Probably liquid iced turkey through a straw. Mmm. <laughs> Don't knock it till you tried it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, that. Mmm. That's the main course. What's for pudding? Oh, and I'm making a fuss because it feels like I've made it with my own blood. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Time to get your stomach pumped. straight to the after eight, eh? <laughs> but the big story was Zilla's last wish to go swimming with dolphins. I'll do anything for you, my sweet. You've just got to name it. I want to swim with dolphins. See? That's the cancer messing with your brain cells. Yeah. They don't have any round here, do they, my love? No dolphins on Coronation Street, are there? Hiya, <laughs> ma'am. Hiya. Have you seen the new family moved into number seven? No, why? Oh, hey, up here they come. Morning. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's a fresh goes if anyone wants anything. <laughs> it's okay. I got a whole load of groceries from Flamesbury's last night. <laughs> We're going up the leisure centre. Yeah, we're going swimming. Can I come? 
I don't see why not. <laughs> right. I'll go and get me cosy. Oh, don't forget your pound for the locker. I wish I could go. Oh, why aren't you going? I've got athletes thin. Oh. <laughs> why did you get the MJF star? Happy Christmas, Corey. I don't know, turkey at Christmas. It's not everyone's idea of fun. What is it with you and turkeys, Mark? We don't get on. Yeah, they just <laughs> don't get on. There was a falling out some years back and they haven't spoken to each other since. It's hard to know which side to be on, isn't it? Big Mo Slaters or the turkeys. Of course, there's really only one way to find out. <laughs> Fight! Go, turkey, go! Give him a one two. See you after the break. Oh no. Come on, turkey. If that turkey wasn't cooked, he would have won. Welcome back to Christmas TV Burp. Human Advent Calendar on Emmerdale. Jesus Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. <laughs> After a Christmas speech, the Queen drops into the Rovers. <laughs> and confusion reigns among the cast of Heartbeat. I don't understand any of this. I don't think any of us do, Joyce. <laughs> Which brings us to our worst limerick of the Christmas week. Oh, no. Limerick of the Christmas week. There was a young man during the war. He never came back. But Sally always had a happy disposition. She got on with her life. That silly young man in the war. Ah, heartbeat. Always gripping. Some years ago, Sally took me for a holiday to Bridlington. I met a man in the used car trade. <laughs> Sally was against him from the beginning. He wore rather pungent aftershave. <laughs> Sally's nose was almost delicate, that's why she was so good with flowers. Anyway, he and I saw a bit of each other. Sally got quite upset. This won't go any further, will it? You're kidding! I can't wait to tell my friends that story! Hot gossip like that? I'm going to stick it on an email. It'll go around the world in no time. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's happening on Heartbeat next week. <laughs> oh, joy! <laughs> I just can't wait. Hi, Harry, and welcome to Aidensfield, 1969. Yes, policing's very different in the 60s. For instance, when we're chasing a criminal, it's very rare for us to get distracted by some really interesting graffiti. Oi! I just want a word with you! Yes, the bill is on flying form. Roger Valentine and DCI Manson made a gruesome discovery. What we got? Well, it looks like a young male judging by the clothing. It's totally decomposed, just a skeleton. Oh. Been here a while, then. No! <laughs> he was right as rain this morning, singing and joking, tucking into Christmas pud, playing charades. Then he seemed to get suddenly tired and started decaying. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Before we knew it, he was a rotting corpse. <laughs> oh, if only I'd given him that limpsit when he first showed signs of slowing down. You know, you know what it's like when you go to a public loo and all the cubicles are taken? You've got no alternative. But not only is he <laughs> You have to use the sink. Not the sink. It was Penguin Week with Nigel Marvin on five. And Nigel was off to South Georgia to meet a colony of king penguins. Let's go. Now, obviously, if you're surrounded by king penguins the whole time, they might start to get on your nerves. But really, there's no need for bad language. There's not just one or a few king penguins. <laughs> Look at this. There's some king penguins. <laughs> Will I ever find a king penguin? At last, I found a king penguin with a distinguishing mark. There's no need for bad language. I must say, the highlight of my Christmas is always the UK's strongest man. And the first challenge for these guys was the bus push. What's the technique here, Gary? Slightly different from normal. You're just going to pull in the bus, they're going to push the bus. <laughs> Instead of pulling it, you push it. Yeah. Here's how Pat got on. Ireland's Pat McNamara 
managed to get a time, but he was in some distress. Oh, where am I? What's going on? Oh, oh he's about 60. <laughs> bus push, bus pass, more like. Yeah. <laughs> but my favourite and the eventual winner was Glenn, who's the daddy Ross? Let's see him in action. Well, it's starting to slow a little bit here, a little bit of blood seeping from the nose. That's a, that's a blood vessel going there. Oh. Just shows you how much he's putting into it. When you get a nosebleed from lifting something, that's probably a sign that maybe it's a bit too heavy for you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty. I feel, feel pretty. pretty. I feel stupid and useless and tired. Of <laughs> and pretty and witty <laughs> and wise. Yeah. Oh dear, EastEnders was a little uncharacteristically downbeat this Christmas. <laughs> Bradley was trying his best to get through to Stacy. All that stuff about loving you and I'm wanting a kid with you. It's all lies. Ah. I don't want anything to do with you. Nothing. What are you saying? <laughs> what do you mean? He's saying he wants to marry you and be the father of your children. <laughs> Pretty soon, though, Stacy retaliated in kind. Do you hear that, everyone? Bradley don't want anything to do with me, so I'm available. I'm back on the market. And so is Bradley if you like rubbish, sex and loads of cuddles. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Here, what's the worst reaction you've ever had to a bit of paper tearing? Oh, I did. What do you think? <laughs> oh, it wasn't very good, was it? Oh, my God. Here's a bit of paper tearing that I've worked out just for you, Billy. Okay, what you do, you fold it in half, like that. Right. Just tear a little bit out. There. Throw right. Away. You won't be needing that. Over again. Another little tear, like that. And again. Like that. <laughs> Unfold it, and, uh... <laughs> my wife is... is thick. But the big story on the square was the death of Pauline Fowler. Whoa, chill. <laughs> That's enough. Pauline, the much-loved matriarch of Wolford. I can't bear to have you near me. You make my flesh creep. Not with your clammy little hands. Is that what you think women want? Is it not? <laughs> That's where I've been going wrong all these years. Yeah, that's been a problem. Me and my tiny little tiny <laughs> Rubbish sex and cuddles, anyone? <laughs> but before she signed off, <laughs> Pauline took one last chance to cheer herself up. She visited a graveyard. Arthur's grave, there. And then Mark's grave. Oh, <laughs> yes. The Thames Whale. Ah. Uplifting Christmas telling. Damn. Rest in peace. <laughs> At least some of the occupants of Albert Square had a reasonable Christmas. <laughs> the East Enders crackers. I've got a box of them here. Look, there we are. Right then. And who better to pull a cracker with than? Oh, shit! Yo! Happy Christmas, Harry! It's the UK's strongest man, the daddy, Glenn Ross! Bro, it's huge. Would you pull a cracker with me, Glenn? My pleasure, Harry. Right. Ah! Oh. I win! Who's the daddy now? <laughs> hey, come on, Glenn. I know you're disappointed, but you're going to come out of this stronger. <laughs> come up there! Yeah. Right, let's have a look at this cracker then. Well, there's the, uh, the paper hat. It's uh, Dunce's hat. Ah. Uh, what else? Where's the toy? Oh, yes. There it is. There's the toy. Ah, oh. The razor blade. And uh, here's the joke. 
Why did Pauline Fowler cross the road? To have a brain hemorrhage. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea with that. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrity family fortunes took things a stage further for Christmas and employed families from the soaps, with Emmerdale's The Hopes versus Corrie's The Battersby's. And it was such a relief to find that actor Tony <coughs> Gordonshaw is nothing Excuse like me. Bob, the overexcited lunatic he plays on Emmerdale. <laughs> oh, Bob, he's had quite a Christmas. What's this? What? This? It stinks of smoke. It needs to go in the wash. You're the billboard fire starter. Twisted fire starter. <laughs> so just time to have a look at some of the Christmas merchandise the soaps had out this Christmas. Of course, Emmerdale did the advent calendar, the lovely advent calendar. We've got Rodney. There. There is. Uh, and the top window, the number 24, was exciting, isn't it? Oh, nothing there. Oh, and Tom King. Oh, <laughs> shit. Falls out and gets murdered. <laughs> and finally, I must say I did enjoy Strictly Confidential Behind the Scenes on ITV3. The story of life in a world of sex therapy. I wanted to pick your belief that I'm vaginismus. Vaginismus? Is that what I've got? Vaginismus. And a happy new year. Vaginismus? That's all from us here. We'll be back on the 20th of January with a new series, but in the meantime, Bob? Oh, shit. How many pickles is this? Where'd all my pixels go? <laughs> Rest in pixel hill. Good way to start our Christmas month, I think. I mean, just <sighs> watching soap operas during Christmas, like. <laughs> is it just it's got to be for the comedy right <laughs> like like holy shit i don't know who would want to you know i feel like if you're like super into soap operas watching them during christmas is just like a bad time you know because they're all sad <laughs> like if you're watching it and you're not taking it seriously then that's fine but like good lord Maybe if you're not a very holiday cheer person, I get it. But, like, Christ alive. My, I mean, so much for a happy time, I guess. <laughs> Good lord. Maybe we'll do one or... I mean, we might not even need to do any on our own this month, honestly. Like, we could just use... We, we could just use Harry Hill. There'll probably be more in the 2007 one uh, as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll do 2007 Christmas TV Burp tomorrow. Um, and, uh, if you guys, uh, have any suggestions for this Christmas month, as I said yesterday in the monthly plans, let me know down below. The whole month is not set at all. So let me know if you have any suggestions. That is it for me today, though. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave it a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel, first thing views, and all the rest are all in the video description down below, as well as names on my Patrons. If you didn't know, you can be a Patreon to me for as little as a dollar or one pound, and you get extra direction videos, as well as reading comments up to the early sometimes more. With all that being said, though, my name is Taffrey Hinton. It's been my reaction to Harry Hill's Christmas TV Burp 2006, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.